How's it Grant here and welcome to my camera comparison between the Google Pixel 7 Pro and Apple iPhone 14 Pro, two of the most popular smartphones of the year, including two of the most popular smartphone cameras of the year. And in full disclosure, Google did send me the Pixel 7 Pro as a part of Team Pixel for me to check out and review, but that has no bearing on my review here because you know how I do it. I just take a bunch of photos and videos and show it to you so you can decide for yourself which of these two camera systems might be best for you. But before I get to all the photos and videos, I just want to show you a little bit of the cinematic video here on the rear facing cameras on each. And the iPhone is capable of shooting 4K 30 frames per second video in cinematic mode, while the Pixel is limited to 1080p 30 frames per second or full HD. Just want to give you a sample here indoors so you can check out what that looks like. I've got a sample later outdoors in both some shade and some brighter light so you can check out what that looks like outdoors. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get to all the photos and videos. Alright, so here's a real video test on the Pixel 7 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro. As you can see, they both are actively recording right now. And I am starting out with the ultra angle camera here on each with HDR video turned off on both. And the Pixel has speech enhancement turned off as well. 
So I just want to start out here with those settings off to give you a feel for what the picture quality looks like without that and what the sound quality looks like, sounds like on the Pixel without the enhancement on. So I'm just going to pan around here with the ultra wide and we'll go ahead and move into the main camera here on the Pixel and on the iPhone. So you can see what that looks like here with those settings off on the main camera as well. All right, so we're back now with the ultra angle camera again, but this time with HDR video turned on on each and the Pixel has its speech enhancement turned on as well. So see if you can hear a difference as well. See a difference now that HDR is on on each. And I'll pan around to give you a feel for what this ultra wide angle camera looks like with those settings on. Let's go ahead and move into the main camera on each now and on the iPhone there. And I'll just pan around so you can see what it looks like here on the main camera in this particular setting. And let's go ahead and move over here to the right and we'll test out zoom on that cell tower. So we have a five times optical zoom here on the Pixel. There we go five times telephoto on the pixel you saw it snap in there and we have a three times telephoto on the iPhone and the iPhone will max out at I believe nine times digital right there so that's what that looks like and we can move into about a nine times equivalent there on the pixel which is looking really clear and really steady a little bit better than the iPhone zoom to me and let's go all the way to a max 20 times digital now on the pixel which is super steady as well and very very clear you can see when you pan down see so it kind of shift down and st stabilize and let's go ahead and back out of the zoom one times on the pixel and on the iphone and let's test stabilization here on the post with the pixel first so there we go focused up pretty quickly one more time just depends on where the lighting is there we go and one more last time there we go pretty snappy and on the iphone which has a pretty fast autofocus even with this new camera system probably a little bit snappier but both look pretty good pretty good depth of field on each and let's go ahead and test stabilization in 4K by walking down the stairs here so you can see what that stabilization looks like here side by side. Let's go ahead and jog to try to stress out the stabilization and see what that looks like. All right, so there you go. Rear camera video test on the Pixel 7 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro. Okay, so we have active stabilization on on each. And so this is limited to 1080p on the Pixel and 2.8K is what the iPhone says right now. So let's go ahead and run to try to stress this out and see how stable it really keeps the picture. So there you go, just a quick stabilization test here on each of the phones with their active stabilization modes. Alright, so here's the rear cameras again, but this time in cinematic mode on each. You can see the artificial blurred uh, background here on both. The iPhone supports 4K 30 frames per second in this mode, while the Pixel's cinematic mode is limited to 1080p 30 frames per second or full HD. So let me just go ahead and pan around so you can see how this artificial blur holds up with some movement, as well as what that looks like with some changing light, because the sun will now be directly more behind me. If we keep panning around, we can go back to where we started and start walking test stabilization and what this cinematic blur looks like and how it holds up with a little bit more movement. So let me know what you think about cinematic mode here on the Pixel 7 Pro versus the iPhone 14 Pro. Hey, so here's the rear camera cinematic mode again, this time in a much brighter lighting conditions here. So you can compare that to what that looked like in more of that shaded area. So as I move the camera around, the sun's gonna be directly in front of me. So there's gonna be a lot of light shining on me. So you can see what that looks like here with some pretty intense lighting situation right now. So just wanna give you a Example here so you can compare what it looks like a little bit in more brighter outdoor conditions. So again, we're cinematic mode here from both of the cameras. So here's a front facing video test on each of the phones here. As you can see, they both are actively recording right now. And so this is with the front facing cameras at their max resolution, which is 4K. This is at 30 frames per second because this is where HDR is 
allowed on the Pixel at 60 frames, it goes off. On the iPhone, of course, you can keep HDR on at 30 and 60 frames. And so speech enhancement is also on on the Pixel. So see if you notice any difference in the audio quality there on the Pixel. So I'm just gonna pan around here so you get a feel for what this looks like here in this particular setting and what the picture quality looks like as the changing lighting conditions here with the sun now behind me. You can see what that looks like when the cameras are pointing directly into the sun, what that does. They both seem to be handling that pretty well, which is a pretty difficult thing for you know these small front facing cameras. We'll go all the way back around and we'll start to walk to test stabilization here. So you can see what that looks like here side by side on each of these front facing cameras here at 4K. So let me know what you think about the front facing picture quality here on the Pixel 7 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro. Okay, so we're back with the front facing cameras, this time at 4K, 60 frames per second. iPhone still has HDR, Pixel does not, it's not supported at 60 frames, nor is its speech enhancement. So that is also off here at 60 frames per second. So I'm just gonna pan around and give you a feel for how these front facing cameras look like here in 4K, 60 side by side. And you can see what that looks like here again into the sun and how the motion looks in 60 frames per second as well. So let's go ahead and start walking so I can see more of that. So let me know what you think about this 4K 60 footage here on the Pixel 7 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro. Hey everyone, we're back with the front facing cameras again at 4K 30 frames per second, but obviously you can see the background blur here on the iPhone. The front facing camera does support cinematic mode on the iPhone. Unfortunately, the Pixel's front facing camera does not, it's only on the rear. So I just wanna give you a sample here of the cinematic mode front facing camera on the iPhone and how that compares to the standard 4K 30 frames per second HDR video on the Pixel and also speech enhancement is turned on on the Pixel as well so you can see here or actually hear what that sounds like as well compared to the iPhone. So let me know what you think about this cinematic video here on the iPhone and how that compares to the basic standard video here on the Pixel 7. Alright, so here's some rear low light video from the Pixel 7 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro. This is the ultra wide angle lens on each and HDR video is on on both. The speech enhancement is on on the Pixel, so pay attention to the audio and see if you notice any kind of a difference between each phone there. And so I'm just going to pan around here with the ultra wide angle lens. You can see the differences on each with HDR on and the Pixel speech enhancement. And let's go ahead and move into the main lens on each on the Pixel and then on the iPhone. So now we're on the main camera on both phones here. 
and I'll pan around here. You can see how they both do into that really bright street light there, both handling that light pretty well. Not too much lens flare considering how light, uh, considering how bright that light is actually. Now let's go ahead and pan around this way and let's go ahead and start walking and we'll test stabilization here. And we'll move over from that pretty bright, well lit scene over to a much darker area so we can see the contrast and how these cameras handle different lighting situations here at night. And so also pay attention to the micro jitters as I'm walking with the stabilization that tends to happen in low light. And as you round the corner, it's much darker here on this area. So we see how it's handling this situation. And they're both brightening up the scene pretty much more conservatively actually than what it really looks like here. The sky is actually really cloudy, so that's really not uh, the over brightening. That's pretty much how it looks. There are some pretty cloudy skies there, so you can see how that looks. And we'll pan around this way down into this much darker area with that mixed lighting situation down this alleyway. So you can see how it handles that particular lighting situation there here in 4K and low light. So there you go, low light video test on the Pixel 7 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro. So here's a low light video test of the front facing cameras on the Pixel 7 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro. This is at 4K 30 frames per second. They each can shoot 4K 60, but 60 frames per second is a bit too dark and low light is not as preferable. And I also have speech enhancement turned on on the Pixel, so pay attention to the audio and how it compares to the iPhone here. I'm in a pretty well lit situation here to start just to give you an idea of how well these cameras can perform here. So you can see here, lots of lights to the left and to the right of me, but we'll just go ahead and start walking to test the stabilization here. So you can see what that looks like here side by side. And I'll be walking over to a much darker area so we can test the video and how it changes with the lighting conditions here. And I also have a water fountain now to my right, which we can test the microphones out and how it cancels out that sound against my voice here. And we'll go ahead and pan around here and you can see the really bright lights behind me there with the street lights and how they're handling that and actually the both cameras are handling that very well not too much lens flare there from what i can see and let's go back here into this little bit darker area here so you can see what this looks like here in this darker situation and a little bit grainy which you would expect it's pretty dark in this particular area and the iphone has a much warmer tint from what i can see in the viewfinder anyway and that's expected from based off of how apple processing usually works here but I think that's going to wrap up this camera comparison between the Pixel 7 Pro and I14, iPhone 14 Pro. So let me know what you think and which one you personally prefer. I think Google's made a lot of under the hood improvements as well as with the hardware. You've got upgraded sensors on the telephoto, ultra wide and selfie camera. You still have the same tried and true 50 megapixel GN1 sensor on the Pixel. That's really great there, really large sensor. And so they also improved the other areas where you've got um 30 times digital zoom you've got a macro mode you've got things like 10-bit hdr you have 4k 60 on all cameras so lots of improvements with the camera system here on the 7 pro even though you can't see that on paper and on the iphone still very good processing you've got cinematic mode on both cameras 
although cinematic mode on the iPhone can shoot in 4K on all lenses, it's limited to 1080p on the Pixel for now. And so let me know what you think. Um, I think it's gonna really come down to, like I always say, which image processing and video processing do you prefer because every manufacturer will do it differently. And so usually people will tend to prefer one over the other because they're so dramatically different. Uh, with the iPhone, you do have things like photographic styles where you can get more contrasty looks on their photos, similar to the Pixel if you want. And also you have uh, RAW. I think RAW, Pro RAW on the Apple is gonna be a little bit better on the iPhone because you have much more detail. You have 48 megapixel photos with more detail to play with in post-processing. The raw photos on the Pixel are gonna be 12 megapixel and you can get some pretty good shots, but I don't think they're gonna be as detailed as the iPhone there. So it really comes down to what you really need and prefer. I think if you're gonna go with the iPhone Pro, if you're gonna shoot Pro Raw, Pro uh, Res video, then the Pro model on the iPhone is gonna be very much worth it for you. On the Pixel, like I said, a lot of improvements that they've made to the camera system. So it's gonna really depend on what you really need. So let me know what you thought of how each of these phones perform, which one you preferred and why. Uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try to interact with you there. And as always, thanks for watching.